you guys got a knife, I sharpen them free. All you got to do, make your knife cut like that. Or even, this is the challenge. When you can make a buck knife cut like this, you got to admit, that looks pretty close to sharp. So how do I do it? Magic paper. What we got to do is just brush the blade like this. Don't push hard, let it work, don't make it work. Turn it over like that, out to the radius and the tip, out to the radius and the tip. Two corners, one there, one there. Tungsten carbide, the hardest metal on earth. If you take your thumb and kind of push on the corners like that, you're gonna feel how hard, well, how sharp they are. That particular one right there's got a sharpener and a spark and a handle. So what do you gotta do? You just unscrew this right here, drop it, pick it up, and there's your spark. When I get ready to make a fire, I use hand sanitizer. A little pile of kindling, a little hand sanitizer. Take this out of the handle of my sharpener and give it one of those. So any blade, any configuration, any hardness of blade, that's a different sharpener than this one is. And that little one goes very, very comfortably down in your pocket. So you take your knife, you take a hard, sharp corner, touch the corner to the blade, and brush the blade. Don't dig at it. If it's really dull, set it down and put a little more pressure on it, but not much. And then just like that. Then quit with the hard pressure, brush like this. And that's how I keep my thick old buck knife cutting like that. That's sharp. Any knife, any blade, any configuration. Even these, any old timers, they're hard blades. That's an old timer. And let's see what we got for a sharp first. Probably not. Well, we can coax it and kind of cut. Okay, but watch how much this thing changes. I'm, I'm really partial to that one because I carry it all the time. The longer handle is perfectly good and show is the sharp and spark. So we give this side 10 more seconds. About, I don't know, I get impatient. Like that right there. Then we touch it real light back and forth. And now let's see what we got. Bent the paper. Oops, and it will. Hang on, there it goes. Now watch this. A normal sharpened job is about three minutes. So if you quit in 45 seconds, and that blade's really rough, that, part, that might be part of the thing with the paper. But every time you touch it for somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 or 15 seconds, that makes a world of difference. Now watch how much sharper it gets this time. Don't push very hard, just pester it like that. Like that, like that. Turn it over, touch it light. Pretty soon you'll be able to see this knife right here, what, a day or two maybe. And see how that got sharper and sharper. Whoop, that cut the end right off of that, you know. Now watch this, we'll do it one more time. Every time I touch it for about 20 seconds, light. Like that, like that, like that, like that. For about 20 seconds each time, you just end up getting sharper and sharper. I wouldn't make a knife really any sharper than that right there. If you make them too sharp, they're so thin you'll tear the edge up easy. A lot of people sharpen 